Welcome to the Gone Jeeping channel. I'm Matt Gon, and in today's video I'll show a little bit of the Crystal Geyser Trail and a couple of the obstacles that a group of us encountered while traveling to the geyser. In August of 2019, some buddies and I had the opportunity to travel from Wisconsin to Moab, Utah to do some off-roading. This video is a part of a series of videos that I'm working on to cover some of our experiences from that trip. We started the day in Grand Junction, Colorado and took a drive through the Colorado National Monument. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link in the top right corner. After leaving Interstate 70, we followed a trail guidebook we had to what it indicated was the beginning of the Crystal Geyser Trail. We did end up getting turned around, so I would recommend having a good GPS with you as cell service is somewhere between spotty to non-existent. Most of us on this trip had no off-roading experience. We chose Crystal Geyser Trail because we were looking for an easier trail to start our trip. For the most part, that proved to be the case, with two notable exceptions. The first obstacle was near where the trail book marked as the trail head. Although it wasn't difficult, it was in stark contrast to the smoothness of the gravel roads that we took to get here. This is my vehicle, a 2019 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. I had just purchased it a couple weeks prior to this trip, and other than the 35 inch tires I put on it, it is completely stock. It is also a manual transmission, which adds to the fun as it's the first one that I've owned. I've had limited previous experience with driving a manual, but I was more than willing to give it a go. Being that this Jeep doesn't have a lift, it was easily the lowest riding Jeep in our group. There was some question as to how well it was going to perform and how many times I was going to get hung up. As you'll see with the next obstacle, a stock JL Rubicon with 35 inch tires is quite capable. Once we all got through the first obstacle, the road got a little rougher and the views a little more scenic. The topography of this trail has been described as being moonlike, and I tend to agree. As we pulled up to the second obstacle, you could immediately tell it was going to be more difficult than the first. This is my buddy Josh's Jeep. Because he was leading today, I didn't get much footage of him, but you'll see him in upcoming videos.
Yep. Because we were expecting this to be an easier trail, Ed hadn't disconnected his sway bar, which yep. definitely contributed to the difficulty he has on this climb. Yep.
up. Can edit that out. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Send them as well. Once we all made it through the second obstacle, the drive smoothed out again and we made it to the geyser in time to see it active. In the parking lot for the geyser was a lone rock, and even though it was small, it was just asking to be parked on. The crystal geyser was man-made and is the result of an exploration well that was being drilled in 1935. Its eruptions are not very predictable, so we counted ourselves lucky to see it active when we arrived. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more from our trip, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.